Hello Tom, just wanted to show you this. Um, I was telling you about the floods. This is one of the parking lots. Uh, this is what happens when the drains get blocked with ice and then we can't get rid of the, the water. You know, it's that's the problem. As you uh, spin around here, you can see how bad it is everywhere. I'll just open the window up a bit. You can see a bit better. Here they are, Tom, looking for the drains. Need a magnet. Bedlam here with the drains all plugged up with snow and ice. And even though they've got the road blocked off, people are still trying to drive down there. So you can see by that blue car over there how deep it is. Unbelievable, actually. We have quite heavy rain. It's, it's about four degrees, but so melting very fast. That is the problem with the heavy, heavy snow. You know, we get such a big dump it that the drains can't handle it, and nor can the the gutters. You know, the downspouts and stuff. They just get blocked with ice. So it is bedlam here, as you can see, and it's getting very busy. It's about it's about 10:30 in the morning here. So he's, he's definitely trying to stop people going in there. This guy. <laughs> Sort of working. We are in the parking lot of London Drugs, which is a you know a pharmacy, and they brought a pumper truck in to try and pump the drains. They can't find the drains. These fellas down here have been hunting for them. Oh, they think they said. Did you find the drain? You did. <laughs> Need a magnet. Oh yeah, you got her. Yeah. Well, that was some snowfall, wasn't it? And the parking lots are just nuts. Yeah. Oh, well done. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I fear, Tom, that air complex with the 19 homes is going to be the same. We have to find the drains. We found them the other day. One of the, one of the other fellows that live in there, he and I, we found them and got them all cleared. So hopefully with the melt that'll, that'll work but unbelievable you know it's just um if you live in alberta you sort of expect it but but in um in bc on the island where we don't get extreme weather we don't we don't get this very often as you can see very slushy and wet underneath and then all these piles of snow melt and of course it has to go somewhere. Well, I wish you a Merry Christmas and I will head home.